guys, I wanted to do this video, um, neutral makeup, um, everyday makeup, sorry, and I seen this video on Juicy Star 7, or I'll link her, her site on the bottom bar, so you guys can go check her out, she, you probably heard about her, about her, she's huge on YouTube, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay guys, so, um, the palette that I'm going to be using today for the eyes are this NYC Colors individual eye custom compact now it says how to put it on right here um, but I choose to do it a different way kinda make up my own rules so what you wanna do is I already put the primer on it comes with a primer too so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sweep on this shiny color or sorry this color it's really pretty um, kind of like the lightest one. Just gonna sweep that over. Or sorry, I'm gonna use the wrong the brush. Pop off any excess. Sorry, moving all over the place. I cannot see myself. Then we're going to repeat on the other eye. Just going to do this side really quick. There we are. And then we're going to use this really, really, really pretty color. I don't know what it's called exactly, but it is so pretty, the one right here. It's like really shimmery, and I'll do a swatch. There. Don't know if you can see that, but it is so 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 pretty. So um, we're just and what we're gonna do is there. Oh, jeez, Louise, what am I got up here? So and we're gonna sleep it along the crease. Um, take a little bit. Yeah. Um, I guess I'm not very big on. Uh, like brands because I think why should you spend all that money when you can get all that stuff at a joke store um, probably for the best for the same quality so I just think that it's a waste of money when you go out and buy them for ridiculous prices do the other eye tap off any excess There we are. And now we're going to take this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, purplish, plumish color right here. Um, I, find, I really love this palette just because it comes with everything you need, like the primer, the illuminator, and um, these beautiful colors. I only use a little bit of this stuff. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sweep it in in the corner and then just work my way up. into the corner fix that right off and then do the same for the other eye top off any excess so sometimes I put it a little bit just a little bit too high and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna blend it with this brush not sure what kind of brush it is, but we're going to use it. Blend it all in. Do the same thing on the other side. And then we're going to take the br this brush again. By the way, it is the CoverGirl brush. Um, so yeah, and we're going to take this pretty, pretty, pretty illuminator. Right there it's nice and light and I find it goes really well with my skin, skin tone so that's a plus tap off any excess and then just pretty much any wears that you missed that you've gone overboard with the makeup you just pretty much like freaking cover it with this 
I usually need a little more. Can't really do it that well into a camera, but I do my best, I guess. And then we're just gonna do the other eye. And then I already have mascara on, but you might want to top it off with some mascara or if you're into it, um, some eyeliner. Um, but I don't really like eyeliner because I find it's, I'm um, just kind of, I'm younger. So, um, I don't really, I find it makes my look too heavy and too much more like, Nyeh. what kind of a face was that? I do not know. Um, and even if you want, because if you don't wear eyeliner, you might want to take one of these colors and just bring it with your finger. I just bring it under my lid. And then just do tap off any excess. Because it just kind of fills in the look. Um, so, yeah. Um, you can top, and I am also going to top it off. Since I don't believe in buying so much stuff, and because I already have some, I'll just use it out of the Color Institute palette. If I can open it, that's the question. And it, sorry, it's all dusty. I'm going to use this bronzer right here. And so, yeah. Oh, and this blush is kind of like a dirty blush right next to it. So those two, I find they're really pretty on me. And I guess they really go with my skin tone, you could say. So I'm going to take the brush that they, it comes with like that just to grab it and so I'm going to use a little bit and then uh, you probably can't see it very well in the camera but And then I take that dirtyish kind of thing, and I tap off any accent. And I kind of blend it in, kind of with the uh, stuff, you know. Decent, decent. Fine, um, I don't really like to use, um, pow or, <sighs> what's the stuff there? Like face powder or anything? Um, because I find it way too, oh, and also if you want to blend it in, I, this one's really good. I like to use this mineral foundation brush with, from Mary Kay that I use for my bronzer and blush. So yeah, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I hope you, and pretty much you guys can use any kind of brown palette that you want. It's really up to you. You can put eyeliner, you can put brown eyeliner, you can put your lashes falsy, you can put like fake, eyeli fake eyelashes on. I just find it's really pretty look, and that takes like five minutes to do, honestly, because I do not have any time. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this look, and maybe add your own twist. Leave a comment. Or a video response letting me know like you're kind of drugstore makeup tutorial neutral stuff. So yeah, bye guys.